What's up YouTube? This is Lizards81 here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix iTunes Errors 2005 as well as Error 1 when downgrading your iDevice from iOS 5. So lately, I've been getting a lot of comments on my videos saying users have gotten either Error 1 or Error 2005. I would simply reply with an easy solution which is to simply change which USB port you are using as well as change the USB to 30 pin dock connector cable that you are currently using. Now I've gotten replies back saying that this has not worked and that these users are still getting these errors. So today I'm going to show you how to fix these errors even if you've already tried changing out which USB port you are using as well as your cable. So what we have to do here is uninstall iTunes 10.5 and then install iTunes 10.4.1. Now I have saved you the trouble of doing a Google search trying to find this old version of iTunes. So instead what I'm going to do here is I've downloaded all the versions whether that be for Mac OS 10 or for Windows 32 bit or for Windows 64 bit. I'm going to upload all these files to wrappers here and then I'm going to put individual links for you guys in the video description for your easiest convenience. So first I'm going to show you how to do this using a Mac, but if you're a Windows user, you can go ahead and click on this annotation right here and that will take you directly to the point where the Windows version in this video starts. So first we have to uninstall iTunes. In order to do so, you have to quit iTunes if you already have it running. And then what you have to do is download a free program called Clean My Mac. Clean My Mac will allow you to delete applications from your Mac even if OS X doesn't allow it. So in order to uninstall iTunes, what you have to do is open up the Applications folder within the Finder, and then go ahead and drag the iTunes application from the Finder into Clean My Mac. Once you've dragged the application, you can go ahead and authenticate, and then click Uninstall. Now, it's going to ask you, do you really want to uninstall this, as this is a system application? And it's also going to tell you to quit iTunes Helper, so just go ahead and click Quit, and I'm going to come back to you guys when this is done uninstalling. So now that this is done uninstalling, it is recommended that you restart your computer, so just go ahead and restart your computer as normal, and I'm going to come back to you guys when that is done. Now, once your computer has successfully restarted, what you're going to go ahead and do is click on the iTunes 10.4.1 DMG and go ahead and click install and agree to all that crap and then install iTunes 10.4.1 on your system. Once that is complete, you will see if you try to open iTunes, it's going to say it found a library for iTunes, but it's with a newer version. So in order to bypass the error, what we have to do is open up a finder window and then go ahead and navigate to your home directory. And then within the music folder, you're going to see two items. One of them says iTunes. What you're going to go ahead and do is click on, click and drag the iTunes folder onto your desktop or another safe place. Then what we can do is open up iTunes and you'll see none of your music is there. But that's okay as this is just temporary to downgrade your device. Now that iTunes has successfully launched, you can go ahead and downgrade your device normally. Once the downgrade has been successful, you can go ahead and move that iTunes folder back into slash home slash music. And your Mac will ask if you want to replace this. Go ahead and press yes, and then all your music will restore back to iTunes once you restart iTunes. So now let's move on to the Windows version of this video if you haven't already clicked on this annotation already. So I'm going to be running Windows on my Mac using Parallels Desktop 7, but you, don't, you guys don't care about that. Let's just get started. So first, I'm going to go ahead and download the correct version of iTunes for my computer. I'm using Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit, so I'm going to use the 64-bit version of the installer for iTunes. Once you've dragged that onto your desktop or your downloads folder or wherever, you can go ahead and uninstall iTunes. I'm sure you know how to uninstall applications, but just in case you don't, simply go ahead and click on the start menu, go to control panel, and then click on uninstall program, and then you can uninstall iTunes from there. Once that has been successful, go ahead and restart your computer, and I'm going to come back to you guys when this is done. So once you have successfully restarted your computer, you can go ahead and double click on the iTunes installer that you've already downloaded, and then iTunes will install. After that is complete, you can go ahead and open up iTunes and then restore your device as normal. So anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to favorite, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Yeah.